Okay, so here's my flight simulator. I got my controls, my pedals, and you can see I've got my uh, Garmin GTN just like in the Baron. It's actually the same exact thing, so I can use that. The one in the simulator is actually a Garmin 530, so uh, I really, you know, I don't know how to use that, but it, it works in place of it. Um, and obviously here's Cali, but uh, anyway, cool instrument, they're cool throttle quadrant. It's a pretty good throttle or pretty good yoke and uh, the rudder pedals are okay too. But anyway, I kind of got this dialed in. Right now I've got it at Northport. This is uh, on, um, you're on um, nine looking obviously east and there's the hanger. That hanger, the blue one's kind of accurate, but uh, the other one really isn't. But uh, here, I'm gonna go ahead, this is a replay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press it to take off so you can kind of see what, what this is like. So here we go. Hold on, to get a better view here. So anyway, you can see the propellers going and uh, it should start rolling down the runway here any second. I think I was talking to you when I was doing this on the phone, so it kind of kind of took a little bit to get going. Uh, hold on here, I wanna speed this up. <sighs> hold on, hold on. There we go. So I'm just gonna move to start when I'm moving here. So we're rolling down the runway, Northport, looking for blue line. So here's my six pack and uh, Nearly not going too fast here. I don't know. I must have slowed down or something. Uh, I guess I'm. Anyway, yeah, I think I kind of slowed down here. We were talking on the phone when I was doing this, so I really was kind of talking and, and doing this. But I'll start speeding up here. You can see I'm speeding up a little bit. I think I kind of get right to the end here before I actually pull it into the air. But uh, I wish I could change the numbers there from November. 45 X-ray Sierra to triple two whiskey Sierra. There's probably a way that I can actually, but uh, this is a obviously a replay. So I'm just kind of this is my setup here. I'm actually gonna build like a little cockpit right here, like a wood thing to kind of make it look like a a panel. But uh, you can see my my screens right here. I mean the the thing. This is good, but you can see the up top. It's a little. It's not quite together yet but I'm kind of working on that but the view is pretty good okay so I'm getting ready obviously here's the uh, this is the, the east side that that's the little hanger that's good for Northport and but if you look at the we're kind of rolling here kind of getting near the end but if you look at the FBO it's clearly not the FBO at, at Northport it's kind of hard to see it, but I can see if I can get a little thing here you can see it yeah you kind of Kind of can see. Anyway, I'm lifting off here, uh, and you are about to see the kind of what it looks like, um, kind of into the sky here, and uh, not doing the greatest here because we were talking on the phone. Uh, right now, the gear I got in down position, but I put the gear up here, but it starts to kind of look like like Northport here. You're gonna see it's gonna turn, turn here. I'm gonna kind of dragging this out, but I don't know if you can even hear me because I've got the washer going. But of course, we're taking off to the uh, the east and then kind of turning north, turning northeast, kind of what by where Deb and I used to have the cottage. But you can see it kind of looks like that. I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit. So kind of get it. Yeah, so like right here. It's kind of cool. Fast forward even more. I know this is probably boring as hell, but see it. You can kind of see what it looks like there. I'm going to get it to where I get back and I kind of land here. So I don't have it arranged 
quite yet. You see it kind of sinks there at the end. But again, it's still at North Port. But you can see, you can see the gauge is pretty good. I mean, manifold pressure and uh, stuff. What I should instrument approach is I haven't got the HSI to, to, to bring in the glide slope yet. So I must, I think I don't have it on lock or something like that or GPS mode or something like that. But hold on, I wanna to get to the point where I land. This is probably extremely boring. Anyway, it's coming. Okay, there's the airport. You can kind of see it. Can you see it there? And it's kind of real. I mean, you got the hangers down because you're landing to the east. So you got the hangers there. You can kind of see Mud Lake, you know, on the top quadrant. But, uh, you know, it kind of looks like that. So. I'm not even sure this is going to go, but I'm going to speed up here because it's getting kind of boring. But I mean, that's landing 09 at Northport. We'll see. And that's kind of what it looks like. Again, this is just a replay. It's kind of off to the side there. You know, I don't have the uh, volume on, but I could, you know, kind of sounds kind of hear it now but anyway that's coming in for the approach I'm obviously coming in pretty hot again we were talking on the phone so I was really just trying to try to you know talk and land at the same time but kind of looks like that using my controls here you can see the GPS you know, it's pretty accurate. And there I am landing. Anyway, that's kind of how that is. I'll stop boring you.